Greetings everyone, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the last episode, we end up finishing the Enchanted Dominion with Terra, but now in this episode, we're playing as Ventus. There's a reason for that, because funny enough, Terra does not go to the Castle of Dreams next. He actually goes to the Dwarven Woodlands, but the first person who enters the Dwarven Woodlands is actually Ventus. So we're actually going to start his story right now. As I stated before, all the cutscenes are all going to be combined into one. So whoever ends up visiting the area first, that's the character I'm going to be playing as. So essentially, yes, I'm doing three playthroughs. Don't ask, I mean, is it going to be a hard thing to do? Oh, you bet your ass. Wow. Of the entire cutscene, guys. <laughs> but yeah, we're now going to be playing as Ventus. As you can see here, Ventus does not really have much hits going for him. Now, you guys are probably wondering if the intro is the same. No, the intro is actually the exact same thing. Ventus and Aqua both fights the ball of light. The same cutscene ends up happening. You see a glimpse of Master Zane or speaking to somebody. And then after that, when Terra leaves and says that he has to go think of something, you get two separate cutscenes one with aqua and one with ventus ventus one is well like i said you, you guys are gonna you guys are probably are gonna see it in the first episode already so yeah ventus's first area is going to be the dwarven woodlands aqua's first area is actually not the dwarven woodlands her first area is actually the castle of dreams so it's a little bit separate ventus and aqua are the only two that actually visits the enchanted dominion at the same time Terra ends up visiting the Enchanted Dominion first, but he never in ends up running into neither Aqu either Aqua or Ventus. So yeah, and luckily enough, now you know that now that we're finally off of Tutorial Land of Destruction, I can now just play the game as normal as I want. By the way, you're probably gonna always—I'm not sure if you guys are gonna hear it—but you might end up hearing me pressing the X button constantly. Hey, it's better than me pressing the PSP button when all you're doing is pressing the circle button. Yeah, ironically enough, um, at least I think that's what it was in the um, PSP version. It's been a while, but <clears throat> sorry, but in the um, original, in the original one, well, Kingdom Hearts for that, for instance, is that when you press, you press the X button to um, to jump, and the circle button to attack. In all honesty, it's weird now so when you're going back to that feature it's kind of it's a little bit more it makes more sense to jump with the circle button and makes more sense to attack with the x button and it's it's very odd to say the least huh who are you I'm Ventus. Call me Ven. A diamond thief! Take cover, <laughs> you fools! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. You didn't? You mean, you're not here for our diamonds? That's not nice. Treating me like some kind of bad guy? I'm just trying to find a friend. His name is Terra. He's dressed kind of like me, about yay tall. Sounds like a tall tale to me. Go on, get! We don't know any Terra. <sighs> Please, could you come over here? I just want to talk. Don't fall for it! Stay where you are! All right, then we'll do this the hard way. Yeah. Now, see so if you guys don't actually pay attention to the animation. Yes, they are, are all doing the same hand movement animation. Don't pay much attention to that. You, 
it, it, it's better if you don't. Anyways, if we talk to, I think this is Dopey. Um, he doesn't say anything. He's um, he's a he's a funny dwarf. I don't get it. I never seen Snow White, so forgive me if I don't know anything about the movie. Like all I know is that the dwarves kill the villain. I guess I don't know. It's it, it's a thing, but yeah. Anyways, our goal here is to now go ahead and look for all the dwarves, except for one. Uh, of course, one of them is already, you know, not really doing anything, like, seriously. Some of them will end up attacking you, though, so be careful. I mean, I've never seen anybody who actually died to this area, so... Hey, if you be... So, hey, if you're the first to die in this area, congratulations. <laughs> I'm warning you. Keep your paws off our diamonds. I'll be watching. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I, I, yeah, I'll be watching too. Like, I'll be watching absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, Grumpy. What shall I not do with you? Anyways, I can sense sneeze. Oh, hello. Apparently more of the floods are also here too. Ugh, oh, man. Like, I love that Ventus is very, very quick and fast. Like, like I said, um... Half of the movesets that Ventus has now are not really that great for the moment. That's why when in the first half of the game, you're usually you're usually going to be utilizing D-Links to be able to help you do some other fancy moves. Because right now, you're not going to really get much mileage out of the skills that they're giving you right now. So, yeah. I also love how the game always... I mean, Magic Deflector is only useful against enemies who uses magic attacks. But, funny enough, there are not really a lot of enemies who uses magic. Most of the time, they're utilizing, like, status-inducing effects, which I guess you can technically call magic attacks. But it's not really that great for the most part. They can be, they can be useful, they can be good, eh, and then they can, be, they, they can be something. The only reason why I usually always utilize Aqua is because she's the only one who has Cure, because you can't get Cure until you... I think until you finish off the second area or until after you finish off the third area. I'm not entirely sure. Usually you can find cure and usually you can't. It really, it, it, it's all good. <laughs> it's like, it's all good. I'm actually most, I'm hoping that I can be able to get at least Aqua's, um, her auto life because I can, I can utilize her ability to be able to actually give me the capabilities of beating the Ventus' first boss. Can we get back here, you stinking... I don't even know who this is. Who is this? All I know, he's being annoying. Stop it. Uh, and I ran out of D-Link because this dumb person keeps running away from me. Thank you. Sheesh. Actually, I don't know what this one, this dwarf is. All I know is that he ends up saying, he ends up saying um, words wrong and then he ends up um, correcting himself. I don't understand that quirk. That's a very odd quirk for a dwarf. Like I said, I've never seen the movie. <laughs> it's like I've never seen the movie. All I know is that the only part that Snow White had was the fact that she lived with seven dwarves. And then that's about it. And then she sang. Which, in all honesty, eh, I can take or leave the the um the um the singing. The thing is, though, Maleficent is actually not voiced by her original, uh, voice actor because, well, her original, original voice actor has, uh, has passed away, obviously. She's actually, um, she's voiced by somebody else, but she actually is the representation of Maleficent forever for those who have grown up with modern Disney. Not, like, to, not, like, late 2000s Disney, more like... A little bit of the early 2000s where you know you had House of Mouse and whatnot kind of like those type of Disney movies so yeah you essentially will be hearing her voice in that I will be putting the voice actors now because I was banking on not doing that but I think I'm gonna do it now I haven't really upload I haven't at the time of this recording I haven't uploaded the first episode yet so yeah I'm gonna I'm going to put the voice actors for everybody. Not for the characters who are hidden, however. Because those characters are just going to be question mark, question mark, question mark. For obvious spoiler reasons. Also, another thing I should mention. For for um, LP's sake, I will not mention anything story related in Kingdom Hearts 1. 
or in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories or in Kingdom Hearts 2. My reasoning for that is because I kind of want people to just enjoy the game as is. Because I, like I said, I'm going in chronological order. So I'm making sure that I don't gain, I don't end up like confusing people when it comes to trying to like say, hey, this is what's going to be happening in this game or this is going to be happening in the other game. No, I'm not going to do that. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. Ah, that's what they all say. Well, we're on to you. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. There's, I actually don't even know what the hell the others are even supposed to be called. Like... What, what, why do they have character traits? Some of them don't even know that they're supposed to even have character traits, to be honest, but whatever. They're not all supposed to be just based off of emotions. Yeah, based off of, eh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Sorry for me, um, I'm not a fan of the brawlers. Brawlers are, uh, I'm getting moited. That's not good. Let me just kill you real quick. And babushka, there we go. Get my health back. I gotta be. I gotta realize that I can't actually be reckless with Ventus. I can be reckless with Terra, and I can be somewhat reckless with Aqua. But Ventus, no. You think Ventus would be my favorite character? He is not. He's actually not my favorite character. He's my least favorite character. I mean, he fights like um. Ah. Uh, nah. Like I said, I, I, I'm, I can't mention the other games because that, 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 that's bad. I mean, no, 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 I can mention character-wise. I mean, everybody already knows that Sora is the main character for Kingdom Hearts. So what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I can mention that. Like like I said, he fights he fights like Sora, but eh, he kind of moves around too much for me. Too much for my liking, anyways. Hopefully, I can be... I highly doubt I'm going to be able to get the friggin' D-Link for Aqua, so... We're just gonna go into the forest, so that way I can be able to end the episode without feeling awkward. Why? Because we need to find out how um, a particular character got in a particular situation. We're about to go see her right now. Not until Terra sees her first. This must be where those little men live. Ooh, I wonder who can that be? For people who've already seen Snow White, they already know that it's Snow White. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that will be like my stopping point for then in the Dwarven Woodlands. We'll be cutting back to Terra so we can go ahead and understand as to how Snow White got into that situation to begin with. Because as we stated before, for just those who are just getting into the series right now, we're going in chronological order in terms of game timeline and also in story timeline. So, for right now, and a pin in the chest, get that attack recipe because it's usually in almost everybody's stage. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. See you next, over and out. Laters, and I keep forgetting that is the X button.